Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hey, I got a 2022 Ridgeline Black Edition ready for an oil change. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. See, the maintenance is now due, B16. So the B is an oil change and an inspection. I'll show you that. And then one I've already done, which is a simple tire rotation. And six has already been done. That's the rear differential fluid, which I did a video on that. So now we're going to get ready for the oil change. So the first thing I got to do is pop this hood. All right, once the hood's popped, you just reach in here in the center. There's a lever. You fill it, pull it to the right, and then lift up on the hood. There we go. And then we're going to put our little kickstand up in one of the two holes. That back one just allows your hood to be higher. All right, we'll go ahead and <clears throat> loosen this up, and you can see it calls for SAE0W20 oil. So this will just allow the engine to vent, to drain. So when we open the drain plug underneath, it'll be nice and vented to drain. And then, of course, over here on the left, when we get it full, this is where we'll check it. All right, I just set this on here loose so I don't drop it and lose it or nothing falls down into the... Uh, oil pan Now what I did for the sake of this video, I just took the passenger wheel off. You don't have to do that You can turn your steering wheel to the right and you know You can uh, open up some space right in here and get in there and pull that flat back and take your filter off there But I wanted to try this little flexible um, <clears throat> Oil filter to drain with so I'm going to hold it, you know on the left side and unscrew the filter and see if I can allow it to drain in my little drain pan here and we'll see how that works. I just want to keep the frame clean and make it easier for everyone to see. Of course it is important to note if you do take that wheel off and you can see the jack stand I got out of the frame right there. What you want to do is make sure your truck is setting level just as if it was not jacked up. That'll do two things. It'll allow the oil to completely drain as it should out of the drain uh, pan plug and then <clears throat> you can either refill if you know it's level to check your fluids or what i'll do is put the tire back on take the jack stands out and then finish off topping off the oil level okay we're looking over towards the passenger side wheel over here drain pan drain bolt it's a 17 millimeter get, get a good bite on that Loose here, let's see. Pull this back towards me. Alright. Let it break loose. It should shoot the bolts pointing this way. The pressure, the fluid should shoot out that way. So I want to try not to mess it up best I can. 17 millimeter hex. I do have a new crush washer for this oil pan drain plug. Well, that was somewhat of a success. So we'll just let that drain out. I did warm the uh, engine up so the oil is warm. I didn't let it get extremely hot. I didn't want to burn my hand, of course, but it's warm, which will help facilitate an adequate drain. All right, well, that's draining. Here's the box that came in. I just ordered a kit online. So there's six quarts, the Honda Fluid 020, uh, full synthetic for this ridge line. It calls for 5.4 quarts. So I'll just, after the oil's drained, we put the plug and the new filter on. I'll just put in five quarts and then check it and top it off with the six quart. So it did come with the new crush washer, which I'll put on my drain plug before I put that in and it will torque at 30 foot pounds. And then here's the oil filter. So I will fill this full of oil and then screw this on to the oil filter housing. But yeah, that's the way to do it. Just get the entire kit. Usually you can save a little money that way.
30. And of course, that is what 30 looks like on your torque wrench setting. Let's get that filter off now. So I just positioned this uh, flexible filter up in here to catch this oil pan or oil filter. Position this to catch any oil. Turn that wheel to get that funnel away from the axle. It brings the axle back here. So we'll grab a wrench, <clears throat> our oil filter wrench. Put down here on the oil filter. Alright. That one's loose. So now what I gotta do, I'm gonna try to hold this filter in place, this flexible filter, while I unscrew this oil filter and try to direct it into this pan. Easier said than done. surface of this. Should be a green dirt kind of thing. That's pretty good. So while that's dripping, I'll go ahead and get the new filter ready. Alright, got some light on there so you can see back here. There's threads. I've wiped this housing off. <clears throat> what I'll do, I'll put a little oil on this seal and then pour it as full as I can get it. Let it seep in and I'll screw it on. I'm just going to use the, the sixth can of oil, the one I'll use to top off. That way when I put the five in, I'll know there are completely full quarts of oil. So we've got some of it poured in here. You can see. And what we'll do, you know, if your finger's clean, you can just dip into this, go around this seal. Uh, that one's getting... It's getting full. I can't see with that glare. I gotta pull it down here and pour it in. There, she's full. It's bubbling some air out. Seeping down in there. So I got the air out and we'll put a little more in it. It's almost completely full. It's probably within an eighth of an inch from the top. A quarter. Once I run up in there, I'll just make a mess if I get any fuller. So that's pretty good. Let's see if I get this in place. Just kind of push up from the bottom, try to keep an equal space until I get the thread started. Then you can just spin it on up until it seats. And then once it seats, we're supposed to be able to turn it another three quarters of a turn. So, of course, instead of going a complete 360, you know, we'll just split that difference. So we'll just spin it to what, 270 degrees. So if we're here, we gotta go three quarter. We want this to end up about right here. Okay, so if you want, you can mark it or just get a good snug and tight. We'll go ahead and take this flexible filter out now. I'll leave a link down in the description below for it. Just picked it up on Amazon. They're under 20 bucks. So there it is, we got our drain plug is in with the new crush gasket, torqued to 30 pounds. The new oil filter is primed and lubed on the seal and in place. 
Uh, once it gets sealed up to the surface, it's a three-quarter rotation from there. Now all we got to do is put the oil in. All right, so what I've done, i got a funnel, a tall funnel I keep in a bag, keep it clean for uh, oil for this truck. So I just took the cap off, I put the five pull quarts in, the one I used to put the oil filter, and we use it to check the level. I got the cap back on, so now I'm going to run the engine, and then I'll let it set, check the fluid level, see where it's at. Got a clean rag, I'm gonna get it cleaned off so we can get a fresh measurement here. Push it down flush, I'll just give it a couple minutes to absorb on the stick, pull it back out. Let me show you what we got here. Where's that? Focus, focus. Focus on this. See there? It's got to be about, we want it up to full, so, you know, we're just about a fourth the way there. So it doesn't need much more. We're showing on the stick. That's pretty good. We'll put it in a little bit more and see where it gets us to. should be about half a quart. <clears throat> Give that a few seconds to run down. Settle out in the uh, sump, the oil pan there. Find a clean place on this rag. So you can see it there, it's almost there on full. It's good enough, it's within the range. Uh, could just take a little bit more. I'll go down to that. I'm just leveling out that 400, that's where I thought it would be. There it is, it's perfect. It's still maybe draining a little bit to circulate and then we can check in a week or so. So we'll get that funnel out of there and put it back in its little bag and shut this hood. Don't forget to put the oil fill cap back on. It's getting dark. I'm racing the sunset here. That back in place, nice and tight. And then, with, like I said, with the other, uh, the rest of your V codes, second oil change, you um, check your exhaust system, check all your fluid, your brake, your transmission, washer fluid. I've already changed the uh, air filter recently. Then you check check your brakes, your CV boot joints, and all that stuff. So I hope that helped. Let's go reset the uh, maintenance monitor before I forget. All right, we're recording. Park, foot on the brake, start this engine. I am driver one. All right, so we still got the maintenance to do. We got to clear that. A couple ways you can do that. You know, you can do it on your steering wheel here. Hit your reset and hold it down once you're on your maintenance minder. Or you can come over here to your display, which for some reason is what I like to do. It's just starting up. So we want to go to home. Okay, and then we want to go to settings. All right, so settings, we want to go from here, go to vehicle. And then we got to scroll down. And we want to see our maintenance info. 
So there's a V16 oil filter. Oil and filter is changed, tire rotation is done, all the drive oil is done, so I'm going to reset. Would you like to reset the maintenance information? Reset. There it is. Maintenance information has been reset. I come over. The code is gone and our little yellow light went out. So that's it. All right, everybody. I hope that helped. We got it good for another uh, oil change. Till next time. If you like the video, please uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Peace out. This tire back on. These torque to 94 foot pounds for Honda Spec. So I got a little weight on this tire, allow me to tighten it. I don't have all the weight down. I want it to be able to draw in nice and easy without having too much weight on it, but not spin when I try to tighten it. 94, we'll come up here. This one, we're just doing the crisscross torque. All right. This one. All right. Last one, and we'll go around one more time and check them all. Wheel lock there. One more round. There it is. She's torqued. Take it for a quick drive and check the torque one more time. Call it a day.